How about I do a health tip, one for the mind, one for the body, and one for the soul? That's cool. All right, yeah, so mind, body, and soul. All right, mind first is uh, you got to feed your mind. Um, feed it often, <laughs> daily if you can. Um, where the mind goes, right? What did they say? They say, oh yeah, where, where the mind goes, the body flows. All right, so that's that's a that's for the mind. Let's go body. Health tip for the body. Uh, health tip for the body would be. Health tip for the body, uh, let's see, drink water. No, not drink water. Everybody drinks water. Um, okay, all right, here's a health tip for the body. Eat more seeds and more nuts, right? Add more seeds and nuts to your diet. I'm talking about like sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, almonds, walnuts. Um, yeah, do that. And another one for the body could be, uh, you know, if you use oil, uh, consider coconut oil and consider avocado oil. And I actually learned that from, <laughs> yeah, consider, yeah, I actually learned that from watching one of Zykira's uh, Healthy and Sexy shows. Yeah, at least consider if you're using like vegetable oil or, you know, corn oil, any one of those oils. And I do know that the price, you know, is a little bit different, <laughs> but you didn't put in the budget when you asked the question. You just said to give a tip. So that's the tip. Um, what's the, oh, for the soul. Um Oh, a, a, a soul tip is do whatever you got to do to make sure that you sleep good every single night. Right? It sounds easier said than done, especially on the surface. But I think it, uh, Lauren Hill said, how you going to win if you ain't right within? How you going to win when you ain't right within? If you're not sleeping good at night, it's hard to really begin anew. Wow, these are some nice dogs. Nice dogs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so do whatever you got to do, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that you sleep at night. You sleep good at night. Make sure you do whatever you got to do to sleep good at night. Like the world can, you know, all cave in on you. You know what I'm saying? But make sure that, make sure that you're good, right? It's easy to go to sleep at night when... You feel that everybody else, you know, is in good spirits about you, but the best sleep that you can get is when you know that you can sleep at night. Not because of what everybody else says and thinks, but because of what you know about yourself. That's for the soul right there. That's that soul food. Right. Health doesn't work like carryover minutes, right? It doesn't work like that. Every single day is a brand new start. And that's why people fall off their diet so much, right? Is they're not fully aware. They say, hey, I want to make my diet my lifestyle. I don't want a diet. I want a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But the main reason you see a lot of these people, they're not able to stick to that lifestyle or that diet because they're, they're, they're not seeing it as a process, right? They, they have a good day today. They're not expecting they got to start from zero again, right? They got to start for every morning that you wake up. You got to wake up at a zero when it comes to your health. A zero. And, and you, you, what you drink first thing in the morning, what are you putting in your body? Let's say it's a smoothie, 
right? Boom, that goes into the zero. That adds something to the zero. But we all start in the morning with the zero. You had a bad day today for your diet and lifestyle. That's okay. Stop right now with what you're doing and pick up tomorrow because tomorrow, no matter you do good or bad, you, you starting at a zero. We all start at a zero when it comes to our health, right? And that's the real importance of this, right? So feed your mind. Uh, yeah, feed your mind, body, and soul. Oh, know what I would like to know? I, you, you know I don't eat chicken, but I was curious to know, like, who, who do you think has the best tasting chicken? All right, so we would put, I gotta put Popeyes in there. I wanna give you three. Gotta have Popeyes, let's go with KFC, and, uh, oh, let's go, we in the South, let's, let's go with Bojangles. So who, may, who, who do you think has the best tasting chicken out of these three? Your three is uh, Popeyes, Bojangles and KFC. Which one? 